a new interstellar visitor has just been confirmed, and its chemistry is a complete reversal of everything we know. This is 3i Atlas. It's spewing out 70 kilograms of carbon dioxide every second, with a massive 348,000 kilometer coma. It's releasing nickel without iron and traveling on a strange retrograde path, a cosmic signature unlike any other. The upcoming Mars flyby gives us a second chance to solve the mystery. Is it an exotic natural object or something else entirely? 3i Atlas is the third confirmed interstellar comet ever discovered, and it's currently releasing more carbon dioxide than water as it approaches the sun from deep space. At about 3.3 astronomical units from the sun, roughly where the asteroid belt sits, JWST spectroscopy shows the comet's gas coma is dominated by CO2 with a ratio of about 8 to 1 over water molecules. The Atlas survey discovered this visitor on July 1st, 2025, and within 24 hours, the Minor Planet Center confirmed its interstellar nature. The object received the designation 3I Atlas, or C, 2025N1, marking only the third confirmed object from beyond our solar system after Oumuamua and Borisov. The comet poses no threat to Earth, with its closest approach remaining about 1.8 astronomical units away on December 19, 2025. Hubble Space Telescope observed the comet on July 21, 2025, revealing crucial constraints on its physical size. The solid nucleus remains unresolved even in Hubble's sharp vision, placing an upper limit on its diameter at about 5.6 kilometers. The nucleus could be as small as roughly 320 meters across. Hubble detected a dust plume emerging from the sun-facing side and a faint dust tail streaming away from the nucleus. The comet is moving at about 130,000 miles per hour relative to the sun. What makes 3i Atlas unusual among comets is its carbon dioxide dominance. JWST spectroscopy in late August 2025 captured the comet at a heliocentric distance near 3.3 astronomical units revealing that CO2 features overwhelm the typical water signatures we expect from comets. The reported CO2 to H2O ratio of around 8 to 1 suggests either an extremely CO2-rich composition or that water ice remains largely frozen at these distances while CO2 actively sublimates. Sphere X observations from mid-August 2025 resolved an enormous CO2 coma, extending at least 348,000 kilometers in radius. The spacecraft measured a CO2 production rate of about 9.4 times 10 to the 26th molecules per second, which translates to roughly 70 kilograms of carbon dioxide escaping every second. The imaging shows no obvious jets, tails, or trails in those particular data. When Spherex analyzed the near-infrared continuum, the team concluded that more than 99% of the flux must come from dust in the coma rather than the nucleus itself. SWIFT's ultraviolet observations on July 31st to August 1st, 2025, did detect hydroxyl emission near 3,085 angstroms, which serves as a proxy for water. The inferred water production rate comes to about 1.35 times 10 to the 27th molecules per second, approximately 40 kilograms per second. However, this result depends strongly on assumptions about reddening, and the signal may partially reflect extended sources, like sublimating icy grains, rather than direct outgassing from the nucleus. The European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope tracked the comet between about 4.4 and 2.85 astronomical units from the Sun, detecting CN emission and numerous neutral nickel lines in the spectrum. Interestingly, iron lines were not detected in those same spectra. Production rates of both CN and nickel increased steeply as the comet moved closer to the Sun. The proposed mechanisms favor release from dust particles or low activation energy processes, rather than direct sublimation of metal phases from the nucleus. The comet will reach perihelion around October 29th to 30th, 2025, passing roughly 1.36 to 1.4 astronomical units from the Sun, just inside Mars's orbit. Unfortunately for Earth-based observers, the comet will be near solar conjunction at perihelion, making it nearly impossible to observe from our planet during its closest solar approach. The comet should reappear in Earth's sky in early December 2025. 
current orbital solutions predict several planetary encounters, though none pose any hazard. The comet will pass about 0.19 astronomical units from Mars on October 3rd, 2025, roughly 0.65 astronomical units from Venus on November 3rd, 2025, and about 0.36 to 0.40 astronomical units from Jupiter on March 16th, 2026. These distances are all completely safe, but close enough that spacecraft at or near these planets might obtain unique observations. The sunward enhanced outgassing observed by JWST suggests active processes are already reshaping the comet's surface as it warms. The dust plume and tail visible in Hubble images confirm that solid particles are being lifted from the nucleus and swept into space by radiation pressure. As the comet continues approaching the sun, we expect these activity levels to intensify, potentially revealing more about the object's internal structure and composition. Dynamical analyses have led to hypotheses about the comet's origin. Some teams suggest a possible origin in the Milky Way's thick disk, and if confirmed, estimate the object could be several billion years older than our solar system. These remain hypotheses pending further confirmation through continued observations and modeling. Multiple NASA missions and international partners are coordinating an intensive observation campaign. Hubble, JWST, SWIFT, and TESS are all contributing data from their unique vantage points and instrument capabilities. Additional opportunities are being studied for spacecraft at Mars and near Jupiter to observe during the period when Earth's view is blocked by solar conjunction. These coordinated efforts aim to extract maximum scientific value from this rare interstellar visitor. The CO2 dominance sets three. Iatlas apart from typical solar system comets, which usually show strong water ice signatures by this distance from the sun. The weak water features relative to CO2 at 3.3 AU, combined with the massive CO2 coma detected by Spherex, point to a composition or thermal history distinct from comets formed in our solar system. The nucleus size remains one of the key unknowns. Hubble's upper limit of 5.6 kilometers and lower bound around 320 meters leaves a wide range of possibilities. The Spherex finding that over 99% of near-infrared continuum flux comes from coma dust, rather than the nucleus itself, suggests we're seeing a relatively small object surrounded by an enormous cloud of released material. The detection of nickel without corresponding iron lines adds another puzzle. The steep increase in both CN and nickel production as the comet approaches the sun indicates temperature-dependent processes are at work, but the exact mechanisms releasing these species remain under investigation. As 3I Atlas continues its journey through the inner solar system, each observation adds pieces to the puzzle of its nature and origin. The coordinated multi-mission campaign represents our most comprehensive study of an interstellar object to date building on lessons learned from Oumuamua and Borisov. After perihelion in late October 2025, when the comet re-emerges from solar conjunction in December, ground-based telescopes will rejoin the observation campaign. The post-perihelion phase will reveal how the close solar passage has affected the comet's activity and whether new volatile species become detectable as different ice phases reach their sublimation temperatures. The scientific value extends beyond understanding this individual object. Each interstellar visitor provides a sample of material formed around another star, offering insights into planetary system formation processes throughout the galaxy. The CO too rich nature of 3I Atlas suggests diversity in the compositions of objects ejected from other stellar systems. Current observations will continue through the comet's solar system passage, with particular focus on the perihelion period, despite challenging viewing geometry from Earth. The close approaches to Mars, Venus, and Jupiter present unique opportunities for spacecraft-based observations that could capture details impossible to obtain from Earth's distance. The interstellar comet 3I Atlas has revealed itself as a CO2-dominated object, unlike typical solar system comets, and the coming months will determine whether this composition reflects its formation environment around another star or billions of years of processing in interstellar space.